All right, so I'm getting ready to prep another Skyline roof panel. We'll remove the packaging protective material, of course. They recommend immediate upon immediate delivery, but that's not practical. I, I wanted to keep my stack all intact there. So I didn't go through every piece, and it seems fine. It was in the shade. Um, I have seen things like this stick if you leave them too long. I made a jig here to plot my cuts and holes and things. So the first step for this side of the panel is to mark exactly where the holes will go. Excuse me, the screws went up on the roof. So I'm just going to make a little tiny mark there or an X if you'd like. And I highly recommend a jig because I was doing a few panels without one and then I got the screws in the wrong spot. So that should assure that I do that properly. So I flipped the panel. This would be a good time to remove any of these tabs that are still stuck on from the factory right here. Uh, it's annoying to try to remove them once you have the panel up on the roof. And then on this side, I'm just gonna mark a three quarter inch line. So when I start snipping, I can turn up the edge at three quarters of an inch, not one inch. You need three quarters because uh, the rib on this side, because the rib on this side is only three quarters inch tall and you don't want it sticking up, interfering with the Z flashing at all. And plus, even a half inch should be plenty to stop the water from coming up. So I'm gonna mark this off and then I'll show you how I snip it. Okay, for the prep on this side of the panel, uh, for this side of the gable uh, is best done with some right hand turn aviation snips even though this first cut's going to be straight because it'll allow me to come up. I'm just going to turn up this edge here that was uh, knocked down by the snippers with my um, trusty lineman's pliers. So I've removed the rib and straightened that. And I'm going to move to the other side. Take note that when I cut up I'm going to cut about an eighth inch to the left of that three quarter inch mark. I'm going to snip just beside it, giving it about an eighth of an inch so that when it drops into the other panel, this does not interfere. So, I'm gonna come up. Okay, this cut isn't particularly pretty, but you could see that it's offset by about an eighth of an inch as I come across the top. I cut it at an angle going across to meet my three-quarter inch. And then I'm going to leave a little tab right here that I can then, when I bend it up, it will follow the contour of the rib right there just to make it a little more sealed.